Well, I just got pulled over. Police officer here in my rear view mirror. I have no idea what for, cause I have a radar detector. I knew where he was the second he pulled out from the Starbucks. Did the speed limit all the way here. Cruising with my buddy ahead, Anthony in the Porsche. And uh, yeah, he like followed us off the highway and pulled us over. So I am curious to know why. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Can you have a license registration, sobriety? Yeah. That guy is your friend, right? You're, you're together? Oh. Yeah, he's a friend of mine. We're just cruising. Okay. Okay. Why did you pull us over? Somebody call out saying you're coming by because you have many calls. You know that, right? I have many what? Calls, many people calling about you. For what? Just the way you drive. That's you, did, you did another? Well, that's impossible. I just left my house and I've done the speed limit not, all the way here. Not, not today, like before, so. So, what's that? Oh yeah, driver's license. All right. All right, so is this yours? Yeah. Okay, so what's your first name? There you go, Damon. I, I need you to tell me. Yeah, Damon Fryer. Okay, now what's your current address? Uh, I have an address here. There you go, that's the one on there. And uh, how come is you still have it in Alberta? Alberta plate? Oh, this is a corporate vehicle. Corporate, oh, so is it's not company? personal use yet. So do you drive back and forward, or is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the cop said somebody apparently called us in. Not today, but apparently some other day. He's saying that we got called in another day. This one calling, stopping you, is because we get reports about you guys. Our cars? Were, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you know that? No, I didn't. Oh. We always get complaints because these cars look like this, so we're kind of used to it. Are you? Okay. Yeah. You're probably licensed? Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful out today, isn't it? Look at the snow. I love driving this car in the snow, by the way. It's such a good car. If you just put snow tires on a supercar, it handles like amazing, perfectly, just like any other vehicle. Yeah, this guy's super chill. He just asked me for my driver's license. He hasn't even asked me for registration. He did ask about the, uh, if you didn't hear him, the Alberta plates. So that is a different province. This is the province next to British Columbia where we're currently in. And um, if you are driving a vehicle for personal use and you move to BC, you have a certain time limit before you're allowed to, or actually allowed, I should say, that you're allowed to keep the plates on, but then eventually you do need to change the registration to the, the province you're currently living in. This vehicle is registered as a commercial vehicle, no different than like uh, a big 18-wheeler rig you'd say, see on, the, on uh, a highway. So my car is used for business use. Uh, it's leased to the corporation in Alberta, so I legally never have to change it. It can stay like this. The car goes back and forth between Alberta several times a year. Okay, so it's Ontario. Are you like... Uh... No, I live in Toronto. This is my address. Oh, okay. I'm just visiting. How long have you been here for? Uh, since Christmas. Okay. Any alcohol today? None. When was the last time? Uh, martini three nights ago. Okay. <clears throat> so are you the owner? Yes. Okay. When you have nice cars like this, you want to show up sometimes, don't you? It's, it's normal. Do we want to what? Show up. Like, uh, show off? A little bit. No. Loud. <laughs> Not really. That's mostly the kind of complaints. Yeah. I mean, when people see these cars in a small town, they usually get jealous and they usually report us. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you spur with me for a sec, okay? Sure. What's your first name again? Oh, right here, Damon. D-A-M-O-N, sir. Okay. Damon, bear with me for a second here, all right? Not okay, bad. sure. Interesting. I don't know what he's gonna do. Can't really do anything. So he said that someone reported my driving. The funny thing is, this car sits in my garage. I don't even really drive it. I fly to Vancouver to film all my videos. I've taken this car out twice, and neither time, uh, twice in like the last two and a half, three weeks, and neither time have I been out like doing anything that would even remotely cause someone to call me in. So if someone's called me in, I'm gonna go with someone has a problem with the fact that I drive a supercar, or whatever you know a lot of people have problems with the fact that these cars are really expensive 
or they're too flashy and people just have a negative connotation around them. However, uh, I have not done anything illegal. I'm very careful here because my license is from here. So I don't want any tickets. My insurance for the fleet, by the way, for the commercial insurance is based off of my driver's abstract every year. So if I, if I have to hand in my driver's abstract, if I have one ticket, that increases the insurance on every vehicle in my fleet, which I don't want. It's not even the cost of the ticket, it would be the cost of my insurance going up, which would be thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's interesting, he's like, people called you in. Well, people call us in, or people call in people all the time for non-legitimate reasons. We'll have to hang this one out and see what happens. Oh, he's probably just running our licenses, making sure everything's on the up and up. Let's see what he said to Anthony. Hey, Anthony, what did he say to you? Yo, he just said that uh, they received complaints about cars driving fast, and I said, well, we get complaints every time we take these cars out because they look and sound a little aggressive, and uh, people aren't used to it in the small towns. Yeah, what's funny is I've literally, like, I've only, I've only taken this car out, what, two times in the last three weeks, and we went out and drove around town to do some errands the other night, uh, and stopped at August, and then came out just literally right now from my house, and we've been driving the speed limit all the way here, so. Yep, exactly. We were going with the flow of traffic, so he's got nothing to be able to give us a ticket or anything. Oh, we got, we got backup now. Well, I've just been told that we've got backup. An extra vehicle just uh, just appeared out of nowhere here. So, I don't know. Must be coming in hot here for the DD crew. All right. So, I don't know if you can help it or not. When keep the no keep up with that camera on my face. You put it somewhere. But don't, don't do that. It's just... I'm just holding it right here. Okay. Keep the noise down. If there's something you can manage yourself. Right? Well, the car's not that loud. We get, we're getting uh, reports of that, so. Reports of, of what, though? Loud, it's loud. Okay. Well, I turned it off, but here, like, listen to it. That's loud. That's uh, completely legal, though. Yeah, it's illegal to have your fog lamps uncovered. They're not fog, they're just running lights. Yeah, it's illegal to have them uncovered. No, uh, it's not, actually. You're allowed to have any number of running lights above 30 uh, centimeters and below three meters. Man, it's okay for you to use the camera. Just don't put it on my face. Just put it somewhere. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Just, it's something you can control. Just keep the noise. Yeah, that's why we came out here. We were going for a little drive out in the country. Yeah. We we know to obey the laws in the city. Sure. We, we get pulled over every time we take these cars out. So we're very conscious of, you know, not doing anything yeah, stupid in the city, dude. Especially out. in the winter. It's snowing. Uh -huh. You know, we both, both grew up in the snow. We know to drive in the snow. Other people don't. So when they see our cars, they think we're, you know, driving dangerously, which we're definitely not. Keep the car down. My car is completely legal. Still has catalytic converters. If uh, they were to have a decibel meter and to hold it at the right angle, uh, a few feet away from the exhaust system, wouldn't be le illegal at all. But don't have to put a camera. You can put a camera somewhere else. I'm holding it within. I'm not holding it in your face. I know. It's just if you, at the end of the day, I mean, I, I do this just because, you know, like, just like you, some people, you know, get pulled over and then the stuff yeah, that they're being told is illegal. We as police officers, we need to see hands. We don't want to see things in your hands. So you can put it somewhere while you do that. And uh, it's safer for us and for, for you, right? Yeah, but you've been... Okay, have a good day. <laughs> All right. He didn't really want to talk anymore. Probably just doesn't want to be on camera. I was holding the camera in the window perfectly still. He saw both my hands the whole time. I'm zero threat. He would have ran my plates and everything before he pulled me over. And there's nothing on these plates saying that these cars were stolen or there's anybody dangerous potentially driving them. I get he's taking his precautions, but still. Hey, you know what? What? Did you notice the cops didn't have masks on at first and then when they saw us filming, they went and got their masks and put them on? Yep. I don't think they're supposed to do that. I don't think so either. Not by the orders of Dr. Bonnie Henry. Yeah. Huh, funny. RCMP maybe should 
tighten things up a little. Yeah, I think so. Pulling over a couple of guys casually driving because he said my exhaust was a bit loud. I was like, I got catalytic converters, car's completely like legal. It's completely stock. And second of all, we're in BC. Yeah. These, my car's registered in Alberta and this one's from Ontario, so <laughs> technically not breaking any laws. Right, just I know. Be a today.